What up guys, it's me Jamie. I'm back with another video. So hi guys, Jamie's back. So ha <laughs> sorry if I'm late with my reaction to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles basically. Um all I can say is that I'm I was busy with school and all that. <laughs> so anyway, so this is going to be uh, a true reaction video because I'm reacting these videos that I'm reacting to are both from Runner Brothers and they're from Comic Con, so Ha! Yeah, first two footages from Comic Con. Also, the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles footage that I saw is also from Comic Con, which kind of yeah. <laughs> so this is from Warner Brothers, which means it's Aquaman from DC and Godzilla, King of Monsters, with Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things, and the fact that Millie is in this uh, is in King of Monsters is already making me excited. I also love Godzilla the franchise. It's it's really good. Love the monsters. Also loved Kong Skull Island and with Tom Hiddleston, aka Loki, and Brie Larson, aka Captain Marvel. <laughs> loved it. So, of course, I'm gonna react to it now. now I haven't seen both, and um, I didn't know that they were. Uh, well, I did. I was notified that the Aquaman trailer was released, and uh, somebody uploaded like a breakdown. It's like, oh, it's released. And then my brother told me that the King of Monsters trailer is out already because he loves, he's a fan of Godzilla. Uh, I don't know what to expect, I'm sure it's pretty good. Um, this is the first trailer to Aquaman, so we'll start with Aquaman. So, <laughs> yeah, let's get it, let's get, let's see what, let's see what DC has in store for us from their company. So far, eh, it's not doing well. But they have Wonder Woman, that's one good thing they have, right? And I'll be waiting for that. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. My father was my house keeper. My mother was queen. Yeah. But life is a way of making people good. Can't you imagine? I'm going to come today. There he is. Check it out, Arthur. Let's talk into the fish. Wow, good sharky! Oh my gosh, whoa! Oh! Nice! The ghost's like, what are y'all doing? Oh wow! Okay. It looks good, wow! Okay, uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm expecting that DC fans are a little nervous for this because they mostly know that the DC Universe is not doing so well right now especially after they released Justice League that was like the box office failed everyone didn't like it also myself I didn't like it I didn't like Justice League as well either 
But this looks good. It looks like it, it reminds me of Wonder Woman, except this is Aquaman. <laughs> Obviously, don't sh no shading me in the comments that I'm comparing the two. Okay. So, I, uh, if you're wondering, yes, I know James Wan, he did The Conjuring, he, he directed The Conjuring, which is a horror film. He also directed The Conjuring 2. Did he, did he direct Annabelle? I'm not sure. But I know James Wan because of The Conjuring, and I think the guy that I just saw that was going against Aquaman is the one who plays, the one who plays... L no, not Lorraine. That's, that's the girl. Ed from The Conjuring. I think it's him. I forgot his name. Though I know it's him. That's, that's his face. I know that face anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks really cool. I remember seeing a picture of like the sharks versus um, I forgot the other <laughs> the other creatures on the other side. But I love the detail over like like the the animals, the sea creatures, in like the uh, the ocean. It looks so cool. Also, I love the. I'm very curious about Aquaman's like, um, like the start. They he said explained that his dad is a, a lighthouse keeper. Is that what you call it? a light a lighthouse guard? And then his mother came from the ocean. She's a queen, so that must explain why he has the powers and all that. Also, the part where the shark defends him from like those two bullies. I'm like, I'm that's me. <laughs> that's me. Um. I don't want to just say that this is good. I I hope this is a, this is going to be good. The poster looks wicked. Also, um, here's the poster if you haven't seen it. It's right there. Looks cool, doesn't it? It looks cool. Um, I don't know what to expect. Hopefully, maybe the DC will fix this. Though I I'll, I'll, if it doesn't work out, I'll just wait for Wonder Woman two. I'll just wait for Wonder Woman two, and then I'll be satisfied. <laughs> so, hmm. Looks interesting. Probably, maybe, probably we'll check it out. I'll check it out. Probably when it comes out in December. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just say it's uh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> no shade, no tea. I'm a Marvel fan, and I guess I like DC because of uh, <laughs> Wonder Woman. But anyway, all right. I guess that means we'll move on to Godzilla, King of Monsters. <laughs> I'm so ready. Also, no to Millie. Where is Stranger Things? Where is this, the trailer for season 3? I know you gave us something, but it doesn't add up to anything. You only gave us a release date, which is next summer. I need to see footage. I need to see you guys playing them again. I miss you. <laughs> Millie's the thumbnail. I don't know what to expect. Ah! Ah! Okay. Alright. 3, 2, 1. Our world is changing. The mass extinction we fear has already begun, and we are the cause. We are the infection. Whoa! Run! Run, Millie! Again, Warner Bros. <laughs> This time like all living organisms, the Earth unleashed a fever to fight this infection. <laughs> Lorraine! Its original and rightful rulers, hey, it's him again. the Titans. The music though. For thousands of years, these creatures have remained in hiding around the world. Have they? That kind of looks like the, um, the destroyer from Thor. A little bit. Oh! Unless all the titans are found, there is our planet will perish, and so will we. They are the only guarantee that life will carry on. What? Is that Godzilla? Is this Godzilla? This is Godzilla. It's the king. Mothra. Mothra. Next summer, baby! Woohoo! Oh! Ah! Wait, I forgot his name! Wrong! Random! Brandon! Brandon! Brandon. <laughs> the music's getting intense! <laughs> oh my! Oh 
Homer. Yes. my gosh that looks stunning oh my gosh just what I needed I was wondering when they'd release the trailer for this movie because after Kong Skull Island I'm like okay so I'm going to watch uh, Godzilla King of Monsters because not only has Millie Bobby Brown but I'm sorry I'm loving the franchise <laughs> so they showed us the the three other monsters that will be included in not only Godzilla um, if you're wondering what, what the butterfly is that that's Mothra the three-headed dragon, that's Ghidorah, and then the, the, dra the dragon, I, I'm sorry, I feel bad, uh, is Randon. <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I, I only, it's like Mothra's the easy, Mothra and Ghidorah's the easiest ones, including Godzilla and Kong. And then Randon, nope, I don't remember. So, I saw so, a lot of familiar faces. Um, the one that was in the suit, the the sort of um, virus sort of protection suit, he's uh, from the Godzilla, the 2014 Godzilla with Elizabeth Olsen and uh, I forgot the name of the actor who played Quicksilver also in Age of Ultron's also there. Um, he's the one that's... Let them fight. And then of course we got Millie Bobby Brown. She's from Stranger Things, she plays Eleven. She looks amazing, as always. I love her so much. <laughs> if it wasn't, if I didn't discover Stranger Things, then I wouldn't know who she is. And then I also, I also spotted, <laughs> surprisingly enough, in the Aqua, Aquaman uh, trailer, I, uh, I saw the actor who played Ed from The Conjuring. And in the, in the Godzilla King of Monsters trailer, I saw the actress of Lorraine. She's in this, surprisingly enough. <laughs> Also, I think I spotted the girl from The Shape of Water, I think. I think she, I saw her there. I'm not sure if it's her though, maybe it looks like her. But, oh man, this looks so good. I was hoping Tom Middleton would be in this movie, but eh. My brother said it, uh, he'd probably be an old man when this is, when this, uh, where the movie takes place in this movie. I'm pretty sad, but I'm still excited. It looks so cool. Um, can't wait to see how it looks. Oh man, I think I preferred this over the Aquaman trailer. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think I'm more familiar with Godzilla either than Aquaman. I'm not a huge DC fan. I I like it, but I love Marvel more. So please don't shade me that I hate DC. I like it, but I love Marvel more because I feel like Marvel does a better job with their movies, obviously. <laughs> so. Oh man, these are these are great trailers. All from Comic Con. So now all I need is all I need now is a can opener. No, <laughs> all I need now is the Venom trailer or whatever whatever else comes out at from Comic Con. I'm still waiting. So whenever another trailer pops out, I might record again. <laughs> so um, my thoughts over the Aquaman and Godzilla King of Monsters trailer. They're both cool. Loved it. Um, can't wait to see these movies. I'm sure Godzilla King of Monsters is going to be awesome. It's just like Kong Skull Island and Godzilla 2014. Uh, those movies were really good and I'm sure this one's going to be really good as well. Definitely gonna see this with my brother who is also very excited to see this. Aquaman, maybe. I think my parents would love to see it. They, they enjoyed Justice League. <laughs> they enjoyed Justice League and uh, most of my family love Wonder Woman over Justice League. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, loved it. Uh, mostly the Godzilla King of Monsters trailer loved it because of Millie and the actress of Lorraine is there and then Let Them Fight Man and appearance from The Shape of Water Girl being there and loved seeing Godzilla, Ghidra, Mothra, and Rodan. I was whole, I I'm wondering where God where King Kong is, but maybe he'll maybe he'll come soon. You never know. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will see you all later. Bye guys.